Our next guest is a uh, very funny gentleman. He will be appearing at the Improv Comedy Club in Tempe, Arizona from September 14th to the 17th. Please welcome back to the program, Greg Fitzsimmons. Oh, Greg! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It is uh, amazing to be in New York. I'm staying with a friend of mine. He's like, yeah, I bought you an inflatable mattress to sleep on. <laughs> really, nothing screams you're only welcome for one night like the inflatable mattress. <laughs> it's like, hey, I threw a sheet on a pool raft. I hope you like it. I'm like, yeah, I hope your house floods. I'll paddle out of here. <laughs> I wasn't sure I'd even make it. Airport security is out of control. I flew in yesterday, and uh, I'm not saying they were intense at the screening, but tomorrow night, the guy who frisked me is introducing me to his parents. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me, the last time they hiked up security, you could not drive a car to the airport here in New York. The only way to get to the airport was to take a taxi cab. Because what better way of stemming the flow of Muslims to the airport than only allowing taxis? <laughs> New York is becoming a very confused place. The, this is famous for being a very liberal city, and yet they legalize the death penalty. But I don't think they're going to really use it on anybody until somebody can develop some kind of a solar-powered electric chair. <laughs> Just a guy out in a field with a solar panel strapped to his head. Dude, when that cloud rolls out, you're a dead man. <laughs> I saw the Da Vinci Code recently, and everyone's upset that the Da Vinci Code is claiming that Jesus Christ had a child, and that there are descendants of Jesus walking the earth today, and that one of them is David Blaine. <laughs> and how do we not see that? Jewish guy, does magic tricks, come on, people. <laughs> I hope there are, if there are descendants of Jesus, I'm sure they're not going to have all the power that Jesus Christ had, but I think they'll be pretty special. Like, I don't think they could walk on water, but they'd probably be amazing water skiers. <laughs> I doubt they could rise from the dead, but they could probably drink all night and in the morning just, just pop out of bed like nothing. <laughs> I have two young kids at home. They're, um, I don't know the ages. They're small. They're very short. <laughs> and it's hard. I'm on the road, and I just picture my son going to bed at night and being like, Mommy, where's Daddy? Well, he's at the Green Bay Chuckle Hut following his destiny. <laughs> Doesn't he know it's not working out? <laughs> Shh, go to sleep, sweetheart. Go to sleep. But don't dream. We got enough dreamers in this family. <laughs> My son Owen is amazing. He's just in the moment. I mean, that's why we love children. They're just present. The other day, we were walking past a wishing well, and I gave him a penny. I said, Owen, you take this penny, you throw it in the water, you can wish for anything you want. So he takes the penny, throws it in the water. I said, what'd you wish for? He goes, just throw the penny in the water. <laughs> How do you get more in the moment than to wish for what you're doing at that moment? <laughs> he's, he's like a Zen master. I just follow him around saying, teach me more cool stuff, man. <laughs> So your kids are so precious, it's very hard to trust them with anybody. We had a babysitter in our neighborhood, Michelle, 19 years old. And I found out whenever we'd go out, her boyfriend was sneaking in the house. And I freaked. I don't know this guy. He's alone in the house with my kids. So it sounds creepy, but I put one of those nanny cams in. And sure enough, I check in the next day. Guy shows up. They're drinking beer. They're fooling around on the couch, like the couch my kids play on. They're having sex. Well, whatever. I don't know if they're having sex. It's kind of... It's dark and grainy. <laughs> so I put in a couple of those nighttime infrared cameras, and they're definitely having sex. And that, that's pretty disturbing, because who knows what kind of nasty stuff she's screaming out. 
So I put in a couple of those digital audio taping devices. <laughs> and, uh, what a mouth on this little whore. Unbelievable. <laughs> But she's 19, it's a delicate age, I don't want to traumatize her, so I don't want to fire her, so I'm just logging the tapes, just keeping an eye on things.